It's Wendy O here. Welcome back to my technical analysis basic series. So today we are going to be talking about stochastic RSI. Um, this video is sponsored by Coinigy and I will be using their version 2 beta platform to talk to you guys about it. All the information that I gathered to make this video, I got from Investopedia and I got from Coinigy. Coinigy has a section on their website or platform that has a lot of educational material and it's very, very simple and concise to use. Um, if you guys are interested in using Coinigy, the link is down below. You may go ahead and sign up with them or check it out if you like. So let's get into it. What is stochastic RSI? So it was developed by Tushar Shand and Stanley Kroll in 1994. And it's an indicator that ranges between zero and 100, very, very similar to RSI, but different because there's two lines. There is the percent K and the percent D. Um, on the chart, you will see the percent K as the blue line and the percent D as the red line. Um, but basically you can see when um, a stock or a crypto is overbought or oversold. If it is over the 80% line or the 80, 80 line, it is over bought. Um, if it is under the 20, per, the 20 or 20 percent, it is considered oversold. It also does a cross with these two, with the percent K and the percent D. I call those bullish or bearish crosses. It kind of helps me determine when to buy or sell something. Um, I do use other indicators as well, and um, so please do keep that in mind. But it is a pretty cool tool, and it's pretty clear to see what's going on. So it applies, it applies the stochastic oscillator formula to set to a set of RSI values rather than standard price data. Um, it's also a pretty sensitive indicator and it looks at historical performance rather than um, generalized price change. So it's a little bit different. Again, it's pretty clear to see overbought, oversold, and crosses, which I will show you guys that as well. Um, so there's also a relative strength in index, which is the regular RSI, and the stochastic RSI. Some people call it Stoch RSI for short. I do that a lot in my tweets. Um, but the difference is RSI is a um, derivative of a price, and the Stoch RSI, stochastic RSI, is a derivative of the RSI itself. Um, or a second derivative of price. And the stochastic RSI is a lot faster. Here is the formula above. You guys can go ahead and check that out if you like. I'm not gonna go through it because you will probably never use it as well because platforms like Coinigy go ahead and calculate all that data for us. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna show you how I use the stochastic RSI. So very simple, if you wanna add any indicator, you would click the indicators tab here. You would go ahead and type in whatever you want. So in this case, we wanna do stochastic RSI. Go down, click it there. Um, it would populate here. If you wanna modify it, you click it and you right click, hit format. Um, you've got your percent K, you've got your percent D, and you can go ahead and modify here. You could also change the inputs. Um, generally, it's four, these are the standard ones, um, 14, 14, um, three, and three. So you can change, you can smooth out the K, the percent K, or smooth out the percent D. Um, it's pretty much up to you what you wanna do. So you can go ahead and play around with it, see what works for you. I keep mine standard for now, because that's, that's what works. So when I talk about overbought and oversold, this area above about 80 is is considered overbought here on um, this area below 20 is considered oversold so it's going to tell it can tell you when a potential reversal will happen um, we're looking at the Bitcoin three-day chart um, another thing to remember to you guys is that um, stochastic RSI and regular RSI it can hang out and overbought or oversold for a long time um, you can see back over here we were just kind of hanging out and overbought for a while so it won't always immediately drop back down or indicate a correction is coming right away, but it's kind of good to see because to kind of get a visualization and kind of know, okay, well, a correction may be coming or a price increase may be coming. Um, so don't rely on it 100%, but it's kind of easy to see that. Also, when I talk about bullish or bearish crosses, I'm gonna go ahead and show, zoom in and show you that. Um, so when the, um, when the percent K goes underneath, the, um, goes underneath the red, which is the percent D, this would be a bearish cross here. Um, as you see that the red line, which is the percent D is above, and you would see a little bit of a correction. And we actually saw that on a three day here, we had price drop. Um, vice versa, when we get a bullish cross, we have the percent K is above um, the percent D. We get a nice pump, we should get a nice pump in price. It's kind of hard to see over here, but we did get a green candle. So, um, and again, this is on the three day chart as well. So it's a little bit harder to see, but that is a basic overview of how to use a stochastic RSI. Um, it's one of the fav my favorite indicators to use. So I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.